What's up, Legends? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're here at Modern Warfare Zombies, and we're going to be revisiting one of the aftermarket parts, this time for the DG58 LSW LMG. This is the Jack Nightshade, and we're going to be rocking it for a empty backpack challenge run. Now, I did this recently with the BP-50 with the Revenger kit, so I decided, you know what? I do want to actually revisit this weapon, and someone in my last video actually mentioned it in the comment section below, so I was like, you know what? There is a way we can do that. Let's go ahead and do an empty backpack challenge where we start out with absolutely nothing except for our containment level, and we try to make it into the high threat zone by the end of the run to complete a tier 3 bounty. So, of course, here's our empty backpack. We have nothing to help us along the journey, so we're going to have to get everything naturally, and hopefully things go smooth. I know we have a pretty efficient weapon here. We're just going to have to make the best of it. So first step is heading over to our first contract. Actually, I might even grab this bounty here since it's close by, and we'll get things going. First step, we got a mimic. I don't know how this is going to go. We have absolutely no upgrades, no pack a punch, no nothing. Oh, that looks pretty decent damage so far. Reload. Going to be a slow reload. I should probably jump down to avoid some of the damage. Jump down. Hurry quickly. All right, get rid of that guy. Dude's going to still fire at us. He's going to hit us most of the time anyway. It's not a big deal. Watch out, zombies. I'm trying to put damage in on this guy. He... He's going to be a bit of a challenge. It's actually more of a pain right now just because of the simple fact that we are not pack punched. Reloading every 40 bullets is not ideal. Reload, reload, reload. I still really do enjoy this aftermarket part, though. It's probably in my top maybe five favorites. The hard thing is I can't remember each and every aftermarket part in existence, so I feel like I'll say something and then forget about certain aftermarket parts. So I really just need to make a list of them so I can kind of see exactly what uh what we need. Or which ones we have available. Not what we need. All right, we got ourselves another mimic. I could see you hiding in the, in the window. Come on out. This time we do have the uncommon tool, aka the green tool. Really gonna miss running across those in the uh, Black Ops Six zombies experience. I'm sure, you're gonna end up starting with with a green or upgrading to a green. I don't know if there's actually gonna be any tools on the ground. It's an interesting thought. There's gotta be some way you're gonna upgrade, right? Don't know if the ether tool is gonna be a part of the next experience. We had some latency there I didn't even mention, but it's okay. We're powering through. Pack a punch crystal? Nope. Rare tool. That's crazy. We got a rare tool already. Not even really trying to go for it. I was mostly like, you know, if we can get enough for pack a punch, that'd be great. And so far we haven't we haven't had the best luck. But we can we can go ahead and head over to pack a punch. Actually, where's our next bounty gonna be? Pack a punch is there. I'm trying to think of where we're gonna go next. Pack a punch over there as well. Um, I guess we'll just hit this and see where it takes us. All right, we're going to keep our camo. We're going to pack a bunch to level one. I think the quad was over here. Let's hit this quad. Are those guys heading to the bounty? Hopefully not. I'm going to go grab this pack two or tier two bounty. I don't know why I want to call it pack two bounty. It's not a pack two bounty. It'd be kind of crazy if your bounty could pack a punch themselves because then they'd be even stronger. Okay, please don't be a disciple. We don't want a disciple. Not off the rip. Pack one blue. Okay, at least it's a mimic. That, that makes me feel a little better. Feel like we might actually stand a chance. All right, Mimic, where you at? Now, this challenge, when we go into Black Ops 6, is essentially just going to become a no gobblegum challenge. Essentially, no schematics or acquisitions are used in this process, and that'll be the same thing we kind of go through when it comes to the gobblegums. I kind of intend on trying to do a lot of things without gobblegums off the rip anyway, just for the simple fact that I want to rack them up. We don't know how easy they are to earn, how fast we're going to be able to earn them, if there's going to be a super easy way to farm them. And most importantly, even if you do get them for rewards, you're not going to be in control over which one of them that you get. And I'm sure there's going to be a decent assortment of them to collect off the ripper. They're not going to all have the same value, of course. So I am very excited to see how the Gobblegum system works, but I am definitely planning on doing a lot of challenge runs without using any whatsoever. So you guys can look forward to that. Empty backpack runs won't be empty backpack runs anymore because I don't even think we're going to have a backpack available to us. So it'll go back to the ground based zombies experience that we all remember to some degree maybe not exactly like all of us would like it to be but i think in all in all people will be happy that round base is coming back come on we gotta get through these zombies look at these candies it's such a weird sound when you pick up the candy so much so much guys let me throw this let me throw this we got this mangler over here i can't even check my rewards come on we're getting close. There we go. Got through him. Throw that at those guys. I'm just trying to check my rewards. Everybody wants to fight. All right, I'll just hold off. All right, what do we get? We got Jug. That's actually insane. 
Huge come up. We got the most important perk, in my opinion. And we took out our first tier 2 bounty, which is a W. Means more essence. We actually have enough for Pack-a-Punch level 2 now. So I could make the venture over there, even though it is a little ways away. I guess I'll just see where the next contract takes us. Well, we made it over here to Pack-a-Punch to level 2. We're hooked up there. Our bounty, or our next bounty up, is just down the building here. We pretty much just dolphin dive off. Hit our parachute, and we'll be over there to take this guy out pretty quick. Yeah, this weapon is definitely efficient. I mean, we haven't had any issues yet. We're only pack two blue at this point, and we weren't pack two till just now. We've been able to take on all these challenges that we've put ourselves up against. Obviously, the more you upgrade, the more ideal the situation gets. Where did these these zombies are moving? I was just on a building. How'd you guys get here so quick? Like they were engaged before they knew I was here. Why are you doing circles around me? You're doing whatever you can to just not be in my visibility. Not loving it. Okay, let's reload. Be able to take this guy out before he gets up to me. Nice. All the zombies should get destroyed. Ooh, quick revive. That's going to be helpful. And we got a napalm burst, which is ultimately one of my favorite uh, ammo mods. So we're set up. All right, one of Hugo's most wanted. Let's see what you got, bud. We don't even have dead shot. We're actually killing it. Dove and brim. You ain't got nothing left, bro. I'm telling you. You're going to get one hit in. 82 at the most. Oh, you got one. That's the end of you, pal. What do we get? The green tools, man. We are stacking. Stacking those in this run. Good thing we don't really need them, right? I don't think I mentioned it up to this point, but if for some reason you guys want to try out the, the DG58 LSW for yourself with the aftermarket part, and you want to use the load on them rocking in today's video, make sure you check the pinned comment down below where I'm always sure to share the attachments for easy access. And I will continue yeah. I will continue to do that. I don't know why the heck that was such a hard thing to say. We'll continue to do that going into Black Ops 6. So you guys will be able to set your your wall buys or your mystery box loadouts that you'll be able to, to acquire with the loadouts that I share with you guys. So, so at some point, once I share enough of the weapons, you guys will have a bunch of wall buys with Earl Shatter builds. I think it's kind of pretty pretty cool. So I'm going to make sure I keep track of all my builds as well. And I'm going to make sure to plug those in for all my wall buys and mystery boxes. As, so that way I can keep track and I can share them with all of you. And we can have the best possible setups for our zombies experience. Where's our guy going? Our dude's like way over there by himself. Come on. We're, we're, we're cooking all the zombies. I've never seen the, the Mimic go so far out of character here. It's like he was going on a journey by himself. I gotta reload. Holy smokes, you sent me flying. All right, that should be the end of you. And we got a cryo freeze. We're really not getting the greatest rewards. I'm thankful though, we did get Jug. We got Quick Revive, those were free. Those are Ws. I mean, we're in pretty good shape after we take out this Mangler here. We have more than enough at this point to pack a bunch to level three. And we could even check for a triangle, even though I'm pretty doubtful on there being being one available. I feel like a lot of the time people at least head over there to hit up the triangles, but no one went over there. There is a possibility, or maybe somebody went over there and they just didn't care. Also still a possibility. All right, we're cooking through the rest of that guy. No, we have to reload again. Why is there a second mimic? What? I'm getting trolled. What the hell happened here? Why did we have two? We must have went past them. Infested somewhere. There we go. We cleared it out. It's all good. Everything's fine. All right, we made our way over to the perk machine. It looks like another set of, or another duo or whatever is over here as well. I'll grab all our perks. What do we have? We are just shy of what we need for pack punch level three. We need like, what, 500? I could could see if this triangle is available. It's not going to be available, right? Nope. No triangle available here. I need 500 essence. Where is the pack punch machine? The pack punch machine's over there anyway. So let me make my way in that direction. There are so many zombies chasing me right now. I didn't even make it over to the pack punch machine yet. Too much stuff chasing me. Got a mimic chasing me. Everybody. I don't understand what the deal is. I don't have any plates. Also, I'm getting an insane amount of lag. Please let me just run. All right, come on, mimic. I got to fight this mimic. Come on. Still need 300 essence in order to get. Where'd you go? You just fall through the floor? Alright, we're, we're okay here. Keep running, keep running. Oh, this dude's doing a and d Why is everybody not falling? Every time I turn around, they start going the other way. What is going on here? Come on, man. Doing a roundabout. Alright, we're taking out the Mimic. Nope, Mimic's helping us out now. 
All right, let's just get a little bit more essence here. This guy finished his contract. Should be able to get a little bit more essence here. And then we'll be able to pack a punch. Come on, zombies, where you at? I had a whole horde of zombies coming this way, and I think they all got mixed up with the dude's contract down below. All right, we finally got enough. Took a second to get enough zombies. I don't know where the zombies went all of a sudden, but we didn't have any zombies. But now we're pack a punch level three. There are still only blue rarity, so that could be a problem. I think what I'll do now is make my way over to you tower real quick to see if we can't shoot down a harvester orb to help us out a little bit all right well we got the harvester orb on each side so i'm gonna shoot down this one first this is actually not that bad to shoot and i recommend this spot to anyone that can get up here and at least hit the the target the only problem is is when it goes out of the render distance so for us right now it looks like it's going pretty good it only ends up going over there and then you can't see it you gotta jump off the roof and get a little bit closer or off this onto the roof over there get a little bit closer to finish it off but hopefully we're getting pretty good here i feel like we got to be insanely close it's so close to going out of our render distance though there we go we blew it up please give us a epic tool usually the reliable i feel i'm feeling like a that's definitely purple I just don't know if it's the purple we want come on did we get a tool did we get a purple did you hook me up i don't think there's a freaking tool in here at all nope there's not a single ether tool in there. All right, let me climb back up and shoot the other one. All right, now we got a second harvest orb. Let's try this same process again, only this time it's the opposite direction. It could also go out of render distance, which is unfortunate, but we're going to hopefully get the best luck we can. Our luck in the last one was pretty bad. We got like a napalm burst and a little bit of the essence that dropped, but we did not get an ether tool, which is pretty, honestly, pretty rare. It's actually more rare to get absolutely no tool in, in my experience than maybe even getting a legendary. Because obviously you normally get like a green. It's not always an upgrade. Come on. We're almost there. But at least you usually get something. Now, if we don't get an upgraded tool, I mean a tool right here, I'd be insanely shocked. Let's see, let's see, let's see. I see a purple. Alright, we're in great shape now. Purple tool is super, super big come up for us. Now, is there a bounty that we can grab? We can try to make it over to that one. I'm going to hit this rift and try to make it over to the bounty. We're off, off to the races. Well, we lost the race to the other one, but I waited long enough and another one spawned in on the other side of the map. I was able to get to it first, so hopefully that means we'll get to at least complete one bounty for this run. We got really competitive toward the end here. I got quite a few people in my high threat zone, which is not super common for me. Usually by the end of the match, majority of the people have moved on to either to an Xville, to the Dark Aether or whatever. And by the time I make it over here, there's at least some stuff for me to complete. Except for, I guess, the times where the contracts seem to bug out and, like, don't respawn. I guess that would be the exception. But most of the time, I'm able to at least get some of the contracts. It's pretty rare where I'm not able to get any at all. Why am I getting absolutely obliterated here? Everybody wants to attack me. Oh, Mega Bomb's coming. I don't have any plates on. I'm gonna try to... Come on. All right, we're trying to destroy a face. What am I stuck on? Oh, I'm stuck on a zombie because they're literally surrounding me. What in the hell is going on here? I'm stuck in the water. Why is the mega bomb still hitting me? That is not what I was... No, 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 I'm going to go down. Why are you... How are you up on top of the wall? Oh, it's so stupid. Climb. Good thing we have backup self-revive. What the hell? I cannot get plates. The game does not want me to have plates. Bros, chill, 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 chill. Everybody chill out. Jesus. Mega bombs dashing and diving and like literally getting attacked from all angles. Good God, that was just ridiculous. All right. Yeah, now you want to fight. I have no plates. Can't fight with it without plates, I don't think, very well, but I guess we're going to try. All right, I got one plate. This guy's got to drop me a plate. He's not going to. Okay, we'll climb up on this roof. Hopefully our dude stands still. Or at least turns around and starts shooting at me with his lasers. Come on. There you go. Best case scenario. Yeah, that got all kinds of messy. All kinds of messy. It is really fun, though, I got to say, doing the challenge like this, because... When you come in and you are fully geared up and you make it into the high threat zone, obviously you're going in to take on the most difficult challenge, but I think working your way into the zone feels so much more re rewarding. 
and honestly, I just enjoy the challenge of trying to make it over here by the end of the run. I'm trying to open up my rift. Oh my god. Get the scatter mine out of here. Can't see. All right, death perception. We don't need that. Absolutely no, no goods in that one. Well, I'm not sure what else we're going to be able to complete. So luckily we were able to come in and knock out the tasks that we were setting out to complete, which was making it into the high threat zone with absolutely nothing. Like I was saying before, I feel so much more rewarding to make it over to the high threat zone and knock things out when you come in with absolutely nothing, as opposed to just popping that legendary tool, pack three crystal, locking in and knowing you're pretty much set up for success. Come on, zombies. I'm hoping another contract at least pops up somewhat near where I am. There are at least two groups of players that are trying to knock out contracts. Some of them have scorchers, so it makes it pretty hard for someone like me who did not come in with a scorcher to make it over there before they are able to. So hopefully I'm able to get another contract at least somewhat soon. Let's see. I'll head in this direction. I don't I don't feel like I'm going to be the first one there, but let's see if we can knock out at least one one more bounty before we head out of this run i am curious at this point that we're at in this game are you guys playing it every day or as much as you were have you guys started playing a little bit less i know that there's a lot of you that are not planning to go over to black ops 6 at least not off the rip so you are still planning on playing this game but i don't know if that means that you're still playing this as much as you were so i don't know if anybody's just taking a break waiting for black ops 6 you guys are just playing this a little bit less since you have no new content Curious, let me know down in the comment section below where you guys find yourselves at in this current state of Call of Duty. Lucky me, we got the Mega Bomb and we got our favorite Mega Bomb, the gas station Mega Bomb. He's going to try to hit me right off the rip here. All right, I'm going to try to hit middle face. Come on. I don't know if we're going to have enough. Yep, we have enough to destroy it. Good God, the sprinters are, are they do be sprinting. Let's just put it that way. I wonder what level or what round in Black Ops 6 Zombies the zombies are actually going to feel like they do in, in the high threat zone. My guess is past 50 for sure. Can I get out of this animation that I'm stuck in? What the hell was that? It's like plate reload, plate reload. You don't finish any of the animations. Like, do one or the other. God damn. Just set me up for failure. I feel like there is a lot of zombies in this run. Sometimes you get a big amount, like big amount of aggression towards you, and sometimes you just don't see zombies at all. But this has been kind of hectic. All right, let's see if I can fight my dude now. Should be able to for the most part. Let's jump over here. He'll laser me. We got other people in the match, so I don't want them to help me out too much, if at all. Reload, reload, reload. If they come over here and see me fighting a mega bomb, they're more inclined to help than not. Let's just say that. Well, we absolutely destroyed this. This was a fun run. It's been a long time since I used this weapon. I will say the only thing I don't absolutely love about it is the fact that I feel like I'm reloading all the time. But that could easily be solved running MAGA holding. And at this point in the game, I think if you want to run a MAGA holding every run, you could probably do so. Just depending on how you set yourself up with your stash how often you're exfilling X amount of essence and all of that stuff. But I think for this, the only thing left for us to do is head over to the exfil. It was a pretty successful run. If there is a weapon that you guys would like to see me use before Black Ops 6 comes out, there's a challenge you would like to see me do, anything of that nature, pl please feel free to share down in the comment section below. I always feel, f I always do my best to check out all the comments to see what kind of video I want to make, what you guys are looking forward to seeing and things like that. So I always take those into consideration. Well, I made it over to the Exfil successfully. Really, I'm just looking to have as much fun as possible before Black Ops 6 releases. So again, let me know down in the comment section below what you guys would like to see weapon-wise, challenge-wise, etc. And I'll do my best to try to knock those things out. But that is going to wrap things up for us here. Thank you guys for all the support in today's video, all the support in the channel. And I look forward to seeing y'all in the next one. Peace!